Hi, I'm Marlon Walker and I'm live from Pelham's Wasteland and today I have another unboxing episode or I suppose an unpackaging episode for you guys. I have a pair of Amazon packages for you guys um, to open up and then I've got a couple of other books too to, to open up. Um, and I want to do a little bit of a community chat thing, um, maybe, uh, at the end, towards the end of this video, just talk about kind of what's been going on and, uh, what my plans are and all of that sort of stuff. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to do that in this video or if I'm going to do another video for that. Um, but we'll see. We're going to play it by year and open up some books. Oops. Spoiler alert! Uh, yeah, I got some books from Amazon, and I'm going to open the package now. So first one, opening. Da da da. Da da. Amaro by Charles Saunders. Um, so for those of you who don't know what Amaro is, Amaro is a great. Um, sword and sorcery hero in the style of someone like Conan the Barbarian. Um, but Charles Saunders, um, who was a fan of a lot of that um, literature, was sort of from a later generation, and he was black, and wanted to write something that he felt like um, had brought a, a different perspective to that kind of sword and sorcery. And so Amaro's world is that of a, a fantasy pre-colonial sub-Saharan Africa. And um, he is a, a mighty warrior, but he's also kind of a loner. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff about um, Imaro. So this is the first book in the series, and it's divided into basically three... There's essentially, It's essentially divided into thirds. Um, this is the Nightshade books one and i think that there are still pretty cheap copies of this on amazon um i think i pay like 15 bucks for that one um which is cool because some of the later books the copies are expensive and unfortunately charles saunders is no longer with us he um he died of covid actually just recently um which is is pretty sad so the second book you can probably guess, ta da Amaro 2, The Quest for Kush. Um, so Amaro 2 is the, the second in the series, and it is, is it divided into sections also? Let me see. I've never read this one. I've read the first Amaro book um, because I have the, Kindles ed the Kindle edition in addition to this uh, physical copy now, um, but I have never, hmm, it doesn't really say how it's uh, divided up. So anyway, um, also from Nightshade Books, I think these are the only two that Nightshade put out, and I think there are two more in the Amaro series, um, but these are the two that Nightshade did. Um, and they're not quite the same size. That's funny. The Amaro 2 is a little bit smaller than um, Amaro 1. But anyway, um, yeah. These two are going to look great on my shelf. And I'm excited to read them again. I'm excited to reread Amaro. I've read Amaro 1 a couple of times now. It, uh, twice maybe? I think, and um, have never read the second one, so I'm going to have to reread the first one and then read the second one, um, which will be exciting. Some other stuff I wanted to show off. I don't have unboxing for you guys because I already opened these up, but just recently I got two books, also Nightshade Press. These are Gods in Darkness and Midnight Sun, and this is the two-volume complete set of everything published 
or Carl Edward Wagner's Kane series. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty cool stuff. Um, Gods in Darkness is all three of the novels, which are Bloodstone, Dark Crusade, and Darkness Weaves. And then Midnight Sun is all of the short stories, 16 short stories and two poems, plus an essay by Wagner on the origins of Cain, um, and a couple other things, an introduction and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, really cool. I'm really excited about these. Um, I have not read all of the, the six books, although I did read Dark Crusade during the snowstorm. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm in Austin, Texas, and um, the, the snowstorm was crazy, and it happened just this past week, and I was sort of holed up. I was holed up at my parents' house, actually, um, because I lost power and water, at one point, so I got to go over there. They live maybe a mile away, so I just walked over there with my Kindle in my pocket and my phone and uh yeah, some other I guess I had a, a full bag of, of stuff. Anyway, the point of the story is that I went over there and read a lot, including Dark Crusade, and so now I have read all three of the Kane novels. And only need to read Night Winds and the Book of Cain in order to have read all three of the main short story collections. And then I'm going to read, after I've read all of that, then I'm going to read Gods in Darkness and Midnight Sun that I've got sitting over here. Um, and that way I will, you know, get, get everything twice, essentially. Which is cool, and there's some. There are a couple of keen stories that aren't collected in the main six books. Like there's two or three in um, Exorcisms and Ecstasies, or Ecstasies and Exorcisms, um, whichever the title is. I can never remember by Carl Edward Wagner. That's a collection of his short short stories. I think a posthumous collection. Um, and there's a couple of Kane stories in there that aren't in the main books, and they are in Midnight Sun. So. And the last one I want to talk about is Golden Wings and Other Stories by William Morris, the Newcastle Forgotten Fantasy Library. So William Morris um, was a number of things in his time, um, including a writer of very early fiction, um, fantasy fiction. Um, he wrote what some of what could be considered the the first uh, the first real modern fantasy fantasy, not just um, like Arthurian romances or Rabelaisian um, stuff. But, but actual, like, you know, modern fantasy that sort of connects back to that but is written by somebody who lives in the Industrial Age and all that sort of stuff. And William Morris is pretty cool. And I mention this because this collection contains a short story called The Hollow Land. And The Hollow Land is the story that we are reading for next episode of the Librem Society. Um, the Librem Society being my podcast with Jason Hobbs that I do every Wednesday evening. Um, it is a live streamed Twitch and YouTube show first and a podcast second. So it would be great to have you guys who are interested. Anybody who's interested is welcome to show up and chat about the books and all that sort of stuff. So that's the collection. Golden Wings is the collection that we selected and we just picked a story from it to talk about. And we're going to have a guest, which is really cool. So we're going to have a special guest to talk for between 40 minutes and an hour about William Morris and the Hollow Land and all of that. So yeah, um, pretty exciting stuff. I'm I'm certainly very excited. I hope you guys are excited. 
And just to do a little bit of the community chat thing here at the end, um, I wanted to say a big thank you to everybody who has uh, shared and liked and commented on and subscribed on my videos and subscribed to my channel and all that sort of stuff. Um, we continue to uh, continue going and growing, continuing to uh, attract new people to this community. Um, continuing to have uh, positive interactions with people in the community. So it's been really good. Um, it's been a, a bright spot in kind of a uh, not-so-great week in a lot of ways. Um, there were certainly times when I was a little worried that, you know, something was going to flood over here because of burst pipes or something like that while I was over at my parents' house. Um but everything turned out all right. I'm I'm very lucky to have had uh, heat and electricity and food and water basically through the whole sto snowstorm because of uh, being over at my parents. Um, much luckier than many many people through this time. So um, anyway, I just wanted to say a big thanks to all of you. Um, hopefully everything is going well for you guys. I hope uh, anybody else who is in the area, in the Texas area, everybody else, I hope, did all right through the snowstorm. Um, and you will probably see some of these books on Reading for Inspiration pretty soon or on the Librem Society. So, um, yeah, keep an eye out for that, and we will talk more soon. So, um Oh, I also wanted to say, now that you've gotten all the way to the end of the video, I'm going to do a little bit of an update on the solo play stuff. Um, I have not recorded 1.2 of Merrick the Mighty solo campaign with Era, the epic storytelling game. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that tonight or do that um, tomorrow or when I'm going to get a chance to do that, but I'm definitely doing that. And then I think... I think, I think, I think that I'm going to do a um, solo campaign with Beowulf, the uh, Beowulf Age of Heroes by um, Handiwork Games, um, the one that I did an overview of. I think I'm going to create a hero for that and um, get into it a little more and um, have some fun playing a uh, Beowulf-based game, because you may know about me, I'm a huge fan of Beowulf, the original poem, and um, the the kind of world and the lore of Beowulf and all that sort of stuff, so um, I'm really excited about that game, and I think it's going to work really well for solo play, because it's designed for one hero, essentially, so I think that's pretty cool, and... Um, yeah, I think I think it's going to work well for uh, playing solo, and I want to try it out. So, yeah. Um, that's just a little bit of a, a sort of a preview of things to come. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Unboxing. I hope that you are excited about some of the books that I talked about, and... You know, maybe we'll see a Reading for Inspiration episode about some of these books. Um, or Lever Room Society episodes, like I said, we're, we're going to see. But I'm definitely, um, you know, I'm, I, I want to discuss these things with you guys. I want to, to have a, a, you know, community that talks about these things and... Um, enjoys discussing literature and all that sort of stuff. So, um, of all sorts, uh, you know, fantasy and science fiction and um, other genres and non genre literature, more kind of literature, capital L literature, um, all sorts of stuff. I read um, a lot of different things um, and I enjoy them all and I like talking to people about them. So, it's always fun to have um, people that want to talk about those. All right, I'm just rambling at this point. 
Um, but I hope everybody is doing well. I hope that if you suffered in the snowstorm, you got through it okay. I hope that if you were avoiding or were able to avoid the snowstorm, that you still did all right with, you know, obviously we're still in the middle of the pandemic. So I hope every one of my, uh, every one of the members of my community is doing well, staying safe, staying positive, because um, sort of light at the end of the tunnel seems like. Uh, at this point with vaccine rollout for a lot of places and all that sort of stuff. So really hoping things are going to get better soon. Um, all right. I have been Arlen Walker. I have been live from Pelham's Wasteland, and I will see you guys next time. Take care, everybody.